Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Bob Arum. The Seal Lomachenko and George Cambosos. Get this. Arum on Cambosos Lomachenko. He said the deal was done. Hopefully, they can fight later in the year. An agreement to have Vasily Lomachenko challenge unified lightweight title as George Cambosos in Australia this spring was all set in stone, according to promoter Bob Arum. One problem, Lomachenko appears to be in no condition to participate in a boxing bout anytime soon. Of course, the former undisputed lightweight champion is now currently in his homeland in Ukraine, aiding Russia's military invasion. Aram, who promotes Lomachenko, understands that Ludabella, the promoter of Cambosos, will need to make a move soon in order to preserve the summer fight date for his client. Cambosos, a native of Sydney, was reportedly set to defend his WBA, WBO, and IBF lightweight titles on June 5th against Lomachenko at Marvel Stadium in Melbourne. Everything was set, Aram said. Everything was done. Lou is dealing with Jeremy Kugel our legal counsel, and they and they had agreed to everything. Lou sent us a lovely letter today that he would hold out for a little while, but they have to move on, but thanking us for negotiating all in good faith. If it doesn't get resolved by the end of the week, Lou has to look out for his fighter, Aram said. He's been a gentleman in all this. There's always tomorrow, so Cambosos can get another opponent. Hopefully wins and then he can fight Loma later in the year, assuming the conflict has been resolved. Hmm. Let me counterpunch. Um, Lomachenko looked like he was the front runner in this fight. Um, I would love to see the fight because Lomachenko is just as tough as opponent than any. You know, he's one of those guys down there. I think, honestly, Lomachenko's fading a bit. But that would be a good fight nonetheless because George Cambosos is ready to fight. Like I said to everyone that would listen, a guy that's undefeated doesn't know defeat, so he doesn't mentally know how to prepare for defeat. So he fights his butt off, okay? And that's exactly what he did to Teofimo, winning a huge upset against Lopez, but that's what happens when you're dealing with undefeated fighters, okay? They only know success. So them holding out a window of time for Lomachenko, what they're saying is, and this is what Lou is saying, hey, we got to look out for our fighter. We'll hold off for a little bit, okay? And then what they're holding off for is to see if Lomachenko can safely get out of the Ukraine because we know that he's planning to try to get out of the Ukraine in order to, to train in the U.S. or somewhere other than Ukraine, right? So I think it's kind of reckless and I think it's forced and I think that puts more pressure on Lomachenko because he's in a war right now. Even if he wants to leave and knowing, given this information, okay, this could alter his decision and safety, okay, from getting out of the country safely. Okay, so I think him knowing I only have so my, a, a certain amount of time to get out of the country, he may do something reckless and I don't think that's a good idea. But I did like how Bob explained it like, hey, there's always next later on in the year because I think it's time for someone like Devin Haney to get his shot anyway because people have been ducking him left and right, right. And I don't know why, okay? No, he's not the most popular. No, he doesn't have this. He doesn't have that. He's been in tough fights with other guys. He didn't look great. I get it. But I think at the end of the day, since he didn't look great, since people don't look at him as a... uh profitable uh threat okay or reward they don't want to fight him but someone has to give him the opportunity okay and it might as well be now because if lomachenko stuck in war you can't force the guy to go out of the country it's just it's unsafe i don't i don't think it's the thing to do i think lomachenko if he's going to get out of the country let it let him get out at the best possible outcome not trying to be rushed to get out because a promoter is trying to push or force, which Ludabella's not, okay? He's just knowing it's a certain window of time, 
Okay, but if someone knows there's only a certain window of time, they're going to feel pressured and forced to get out of the country. Okay, so I don't think there's no need of any of that. I think the safest thing to do, okay, is to totally dismiss any talks about Lomachenko fighting Cambosos, okay, and get Devin Haney in there. Okay, because see, what something happened to Lomachenko, everybody will be freaking devastated. Okay, so why would we risk that just for a fight that could happen later on? I think he should look after the safety for him and his family and making sure they're okay besides fighting in some damn fight just because another side wants you guys to get it on. I don't think, and, and, and here's the thing, even if Usyk left, if I'm Joshua, okay, to so talking about other uh, Ukrainian fighters, I wouldn't want to fight Usyk right now. I would have enough respect to know like, hey, okay, uh, if I beat him, will I beat the best version of him given what's going on? You see what I'm saying? So I think the same thing for Lomachenko. I know Lomachenko would be worried what kind of mindset he'll be in. I know these guys are mentally strong, but hey, this is like the literal, literally the world is coming to the, to an end for them. They're getting invaded. People are getting killed and shot. It's that's, this is, this is real. Okay. So I think at the end of the day, uh, George Cambosos should just decide to take on Devin Haney, call it a day. Then they can meet another day later. And that could be the super fight later in the year. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Bob Arum and his uh, statements of this fight possibly happening. The deal was set in stone or nearly done. Please subscribe. <laughs> Please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.